I'm going to be doing a review for some fleece that I got on Etsy. And the name of the store is Kelly's Crafts and More. Um, K-E-L-L-I-S C-R-A-F-T-S A-N-D-M-O-R-E. Um, and I love it. I really don't have anything negative to say. Um, this is the two by one for my loft on their cage. Um, I bought two sets, so a total of six pieces, because my cage is L-shaped, so I need a piece for, like, this part and a piece for this part, and then one for the second floor. Um, that all cost me, let me see, $177.50. So, four, two by three, and I'm measuring it in grids, by the way, not, like, feet. Two by three grid pieces, so I got four of those, and two one by two pieces like this. So all of that, that's that I feel like might be the cheapest I've ever gotten it. I'd have to compare because all the other times I've bought fleece, I've bought a lot of other stuff with it. So I'd have to go back and do the math, but I would say that's definitely worth the price. I mean, some fleece is $15 a yard, and I've tried to make my own before. Let me tell you, it is worth every penny to just not have to deal with the stress of making it myself. <laughs> um, but if you do sew and you're good at it, um, definitely try to make it yourself. That's an option. But um, I really, really love these. Um, they're sewn very well, very tight. Like it's not going anywhere. Um, the way it fits the cage is my absolute favorite part. I bought fleas from other places, and don't even, I still love the other stores, like Piggy Pop Shop, I would absolutely, she makes the cutest little bed, she makes, um, a little, like, not a pig glue, like a little bed, with, like, but it covers it, I don't know what word I'm trying to think of, not a canopy, but she makes one that looks like Olaf's head, it's the cutest thing, um, but I do like these, this fleece bedding better. Um, only because of the way it fits the cage. The ones from Piggy Pop Shop, which I'm not knocking Piggy Pop Shop. Absolutely go buy an Olaf bed. Um, but it just fits. And when I, once I wash it and it shrunk a little, it really just fits. And the pigs are, you know, if they poop in the corner, it does kind of fall behind a little. Um, but these um, kind of give you a little leeway to put it up the sides a bit. Not much. Maybe just where the stitches are. You could bend it up and it'll go up the wall. But um, these, and they've been washed and they still fit big, which is great. Um, I'm sure most people on Etsy will make them a bit bigger if, you like to kind of push it, push it up the walls a little, um, but her, you know, it's nice that this came standard. Um, the only um, issues that I can see with it are, um, if you look, like that's, you know, a big, not seam, I don't know, but right, and then this side, it's like super itty bitty. Maybe that's because um, she has to sew down the absorbent layer in the middle. I don't know. But that's what I noticed. And I was like, oh, that would drive some people nuts. It doesn't bother me. Look, this is something guinea pigs go to the bathroom on. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't care if the stitches are going all different directions as long as it works. Um, I mean, you know, fleece bedding, you know, it pays for itself in the long run. I mean, it Oh my god, I saved so much. It cost me $400 a month in Carefresh for their cage. So, $200 once? Please, I'll take it. Um, she has really pretty patterns, too. I really like the fleece she has. So, like I was saying, the only issue that I see is sometimes when I'm vacuuming, it'll get, like, the middle part will get sucked up, and I'll have to hold it down with my hand. Not the end of the world, but I don't really have any negatives to say about this, so... Gotta find one, I guess. Um, she could, 
you know, if that is something that would drive you nuts, if she just sewed a line down the middle or something, you'd have no issues. Um, you'd also have stitches down the middle, so you'd have to decide what would drive you more crazy. So this is the same pattern on both sides. The bigger ones I got, she put pink on one side for this pattern. And then I have blue fleece, which is in the cage right now, and she put a light blue on the back, which... Um, I'm actually really happy it was solid. I know a lot of people put, like, polka dot fleece on the back. She didn't ask me what I wanted on the back, and I really didn't care. Um, I kind of was going to tell her to surprise me, even if she did ask. Um, I don't know if she always makes these double-sided, or if it's whatever fleece she has, or if this always comes with a pink on the back, and that always comes with blue on the back. I'm sure if you ask, she'd let you pick, um... But she did a really good job picking, like, a pink that matched perfect and a blue that matched perfect. It is not a shade off. Um, and they're both very pretty colors on the back. And sometimes I do use the backs and I leave it, like, a solid color. Um, although with that super light blue, I don't think I've ever done it with a pink, but the super light blue looks so dirty. And it's not. It's, like, stained on there. I don't know if it's going to come out in the wash. Um... I washed this fleece in, like, three days. So, in three days, if it's absolutely terrible when it comes out of the washing machine, I will update the description. But I don't think it will be because, you know, this has white in it, and there was little stains, and there's no stains now. So, it came right out. Um, so, the link to her shop will be in the description. Um, yeah, check her out. Um, yeah, I really, really like this fleece, and... Um, I definitely will get fleece from her in the future. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever else you're supposed to do on YouTube. I don't know. If there's new buttons, click them. They, they could be fun. You don't know. You could play Snake with the little buffering loading circle. Did you know that? I forgot what button you're supposed to hit, but you hit, like, the arrow keys in a certain order or something when it's buffering. And you could play Snake, like with the arrow key. Like the little loading thing will turn into a game of Snake. So click buttons. You don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. World. Oh, my goodness. Backdrop is falling. La 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 la. Don't watch this part.